Just a week after violent protests rocked Nairobi following the detention of Jamaican cleric Sheikh Abdullah Al Faisal by authorities, the preacher touched down on Jamaican soil aboard a privately chartered jet in a rather low key event. The Kenyan government confirmed that Al Faisal had been deported, with police spokesman Eric Raider stating that the cleric was now in Jamaica. Just as our Honorable Minister said, for internal security, just as the Honorable Minister for, for, for Immigration also has said, said, I can confirm to you that uh, to the best of my knowledge, Al Faisa is now in Kingston, Jamaica. Reports of his arrival by Jamaican media put to rest speculation about his current whereabouts. According to two papers, the Jamaican Observer and the Jamaican Gleaner, the cleric arrived at the Norman Manley International Airport a few minutes after five in the evening, after which he was grilled by security officers. He declined to grant journalists an interview, saying he was tired after a long trip aboard a Gulfstream jet flight ZSJGC-312. According to the Jamaican media reports, the flight was made possible after the chartered jet was allowed to refuel in Burkina Faso, the Cape Verde Islands and Antigua. It is not clear who footed the bill for the chartered flight. The Kenyan government had complained that it did not have the required funds to pay for the transatlantic trip. I wish we had an offer on the table of uh, some foundation or some human rights organization saying yes. Here is the fifty thousand, five hundred thousand dollars you're talking about. Um, use it uh, or return it to us. But Al Faisal reportedly told officials that the trip had been paid for by a South African company and cost half a million dollars or about 38 million Kenya shillings. There are violent protests a week ago over Al Faisal's detention and planned deportation after the cleric supporters engaged in running battles with anti riot police and some members of the public outside the Jamia Mosque. One person was killed and several others injured in the skirmishes. Jamaican special branch officers reportedly quizzed the preacher for about an hour, according to the Jamaican Gleaner. The government has been keen to see the back of the preacher fearing that his continued presence in Kenya would have resulted in more protests and possibly further violence. Abdi Osman, Citizen TV.